So around six months ago, one of my employees, Taylor, asked me if she could start doing ClickBank affiliate marketing on the side. And since she worked for my company, which is mainly all revolved around affiliate marketing, I told her why not? I told her I would give her a few pointers here and there, but mainly I wanted her to go through my eight week affiliate marketing bootcamp that all my other students have used to get results for themselves. And sure enough, she started going through it. She started taking action and we actually documented the whole entire process here on this YouTube channel. So for those of you that watched those videos on my channel around six months ago, you saw the first 30 days she ended up making around $350 in commissions. And on month two, she ended up making around $2,000 in commissions. And keep in mind, this is all profit since we're using free traffic methods. Which brings me today, it's officially been six months since she started ClickBank Affiliate Marketing and I wanna give you an official update in this video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly how much she's making right now, how much she's made over this past six months, the exact process she took to scale her income even higher and what she plans on doing to continue to grow in 2023 and beyond. Hopefully you can learn a thing or two from this video and apply it to your own affiliate marketing business. Now real quick, if you guys don't know who I am already. My name is Chad Bartlett. I'm the top affiliate worldwide for a massive software company. And I make these videos because I've already became a millionaire from affiliate marketing and I want to help others achieve the same freedom that I have. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you where we kind of left off from the last video in these series. Like I said, month one, she made around $350 in profit. Month two, she made just over $2,000 in profit. That's the last video you saw from me around four months ago. So that video ended in like August 30th or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen, right? As you can see, I'm logged into Taylor's ClickBank account. Okay. So this is not my account. You can see it says her name right here. Uh, it says her first and last name, and you can also see her account name, Jay and Tay. Okay. So as you can see, this is September 1st through September 30th. This is where we left off. So you guys never saw this. So as you can see, this month is where her income really started to explode, right? She was making a few hundred bucks a day. As you can see, you know, $117, 20 bucks. Uh, 53 bucks, 162 bucks. So this is each day of income. And she started having some videos really go viral and take off. She had like, you know, a $500 day, $600 a day. And then she got all the way to a $1,000 days, $1,500 days, $1,200 days. And it kind of just started staying consistent in that three to $500 per day range. Now you might be wondering, how did she go from 2000 a month to the very next month making $10,000? And keep in mind, like I said before, this is all profit since she's using 100% free traffic. So really what ended up happening here is she started going through the next phase of affiliate marketing, okay? So if you don't know what I mean by that, let me actually share something that I think will be super helpful for you, okay? This is the journey of every super affiliate I know. To me, a super affiliate is someone who's made a million dollars or more in affiliate commissions and profit. So this is kind of the phases that super affiliates will go through. So phase one, they learn about affiliate marketing. They get super excited to get started, right? Phase two, they get everything set up and ready to start getting traffic. Maybe you're in phase one and two right now. Phase three, they start putting out content around niche. They don't really see any traction. So this is kind of tailored the first month or so. And then phase four, they start trying new ideas different ways to make their content better. They're still trying phase five, still not seeing anything. They want to give up in this phase, but decides to stay consistent. Now keep in mind, phase five is where most affiliates give up. So don't just try to go from phase two all the way to making 10,000 per month, right? This is why most people give up and fail. You have to go through these phases. Okay. So see what phase you're at right now and focus on getting to the next phase rather than focus on making money. I guarantee you, if you do that, you will, get through the phases faster. And the faster you get through the phases, the more money you're gonna make. So phase six is where content finally starts to get traction and get some momentum. And that's where you start making your first sales. Okay, so this is what happened towards the end of those 30 days with Taylor. It happened a little bit quicker with her, but she was taking a massive amount of action and she had access to my eight week bootcamp, which definitely helped her speed up her success because she was able to learn from everything that I've done. And she's kind of able to get a head start from going through that information that I had laid out for her inside my affiliate marketing bootcamp. So anyways, phase six is kind of where you're going to be in that one to $2,000 per month range. Like I said, when we last left off on this series, she made around $2,000 her second month, which means she was still in phase six. She got some momentum on her account. If you don't know, she's using TikTok 
to get all her traffic. So this is her account right here. As you can see, she makes all kinds of videos around remote jobs, work from home jobs, and she promotes a related ClickBank product. Now, what was able to get her from making literally 2,000 to 10,000 the very next month in September, and again, this is all profit, was phase number seven. So as you can see, phase seven is where you wanna be. This is how you're going to scale, okay? So you continue to follow what is working and triple down on that. Because remember, in phase six, you're making you know, maybe a few hundred bucks a month, you got some momentum, you're starting to see your first couple sales, Phase seven, you wanna see what was working best and absolutely triple down on that. And Taylor did a really good job of that. And that's what led her to her first $10,000 month with affiliate marketing. All right, so now I wanna talk about the next phase, okay? So what's kind of the plan going forward with Taylor? What did she start doing next after she got that $10,000 a month? So basically what happened is after she had her first $10,000 a month, this is basically three months into starting affiliate marketing from complete scratch, she basically stopped working for me, right? We kind of agreed that it'd be more worth her time just to focus on affiliate marketing. So she basically is a full-time affiliate now and we kind of partner together. So I get a little percentage of what she makes and I help her with her marketing and stuff like that. So that's kind of where she's at now. And that's something I do with all my students is once they're making at least three to five K per month, they actually have the option to partner with me. So it kind of gives me incentive to help my students get results with their affiliate marketing efforts versus most courses you buy it and they just forget about you. They don't care if you see results or not. So anyways, now let's go into phase eight, right? She tripled down on what she was doing. It worked from her. She went from two to $10,000 per month. Now, if you wanna to get to that next level, and again, this is optional, but if you're at that three to 5K per month mark, or in Taylor's case, it was at 10K per month mark, and you're looking to scale higher, maybe you're looking to scale to 20K per month, 30K per month. Again, not for everyone. Some people are cool with 10K per month and just do less work. That's fine, live your life. You can live a great life on that. But she wanted to go to the next phase of becoming a super affiliate, which is phase number eight. So phase eight is you wanna add on another traffic source while still growing the original one. Okay, so what she did from basically October to now, and at the time recording this video, it's January 17th, okay? So what she did from October to January, basically, is she started adding on another traffic source. So basically, she started adding on Instagram and a YouTube channel along with growing her current TikTok account that was making her all the money in the first place. Now, I think a big mistake a lot of affiliates make, you may be making this mistake right now, is a lot of affiliates will, you know, they won't see results with one traffic source, so they'll add on another traffic source, and they think that's the way to do it. But think about it, right? Ask yourself, if you can't get one traffic source to work, what makes you think you can make two traffic source work at once? It's all about focusing on one thing until you get to that three to 5K per month level. Like I said, for Taylor is around 10K and then she started adding on more traffic sources. So this is kind of what happened here. Another thing you can add on in phase eight is start adding on backend products. So she was starting to grow her email list a lot. I think she has around 10,000 emails collected now. And now she has backend products she's promoting, right? So she's promoting a software like Builderall. She's promoting some other courses and programs, right? So now she's not only making money from the front end ClickBank, right? But she's also making money from other affiliate networks too that are inside of her niche. Now, another cool thing that happened to her, which is completely just extra income, is she started getting a lot of companies reach out to her to do sponsorships for her TikTok account. So basically, they're paying her to make TikTok videos around websites that she's already making videos around. So I think for one video, I'll put it up on the screen. This company paid her, I'm not gonna say the exact amount, but anywhere from you know $500 to $1,500 to make this video because it features the company that paid her, right? She's doing a sponsorship with that company. So not only is she getting paid to make the videos now, but the videos are also generating her affiliate commissions from those ClickBank products, from those backend products, from building her email list and all things like that. So really what happens in, in phase eight, once you start to triple down on your content and you start expanding your traffic sources, what starts happening to you, you start getting all these other opportunities that you never knew were really a thing. So for me, when I became one of the top affiliates of Builderall, I got an opportunity to become the marketing director for that entire company. So that was an opportunity that I had no idea would ever exist. I never went to college, I never had a marketing degree, but because I became the top affiliate for that software company, 
I had other opportunities starting to come to me. And this is kind of what happened to Taylor, but in a little bit different way. So now she has multiple income sources. She's continuing to grow her digital assets. Not only that, but now she's working on, like I said, growing her YouTube channel, as you can see here, and also her Instagram account as well. So what I wanna do now is show you the total earnings that she has made over the past six months in her ClickBank career. Like I said, she started from complete scratch. She had no idea what affiliate marketing even was before she worked for me, before she started this. So anyways, let me go ahead and share my screen again and show you the total earnings. And again, this is just from one product. This doesn't include any sponsorships. This doesn't include any backend products or YouTube ad revenue or anything like that. So anyways, let me go actually into her account and I'm just gonna go from when she started. So we're gonna go from July 1st, that's when she made her first you know, $350 and then uh, August she made 2000 and then September I just showed you, this is the $10,000 a month. So let me go all the way to the current date. As you can see, it's January 17th. So let's go ahead and see her total earnings. Okay, so as you can see, this is gonna load up. And let me go down here. As you can see, her total earnings is around $28,000. Her net is around $22,000 after refunds, okay? So as we can see, if we actually look on here, so as you can see, her first month was around, it was a little higher, it was around 476. I think we had some rollover because she didn't start exactly on July 1st. I think she started maybe June 20th or something. But anyways, second month, she made around $4,200. And then the third month, like I showed you, it was around $10,927. Next month was $3,700. So as you can see, we had a huge drop off from 10,000 to 3,000. And then November, um, she made around $2,600. And then December was a, definitely a lot lower. This is around 1,800. And right now it's January 17th. So in January so far, she's made $4,600. So it's starting to bump up a lot here. Now you might be wondering, well, Chad, what's the reason for such a big drop off in sales? Well, I kind of asked Taylor, we went, we kind of discussed this. And the main reasons were, one, she wasn't as consistent. She got really busy with her kids. You know, she's a mom of two kids. She's really busy with that. And then she kept on getting sick and it just a bunch of things happened. She went on vacation, she went on a cruise. And then obviously in December, were the holidays so things got more busy uh, so basically kind of what happened here was just a lack of consistency that's really what it comes down to and then the other thing was this is sales right this is going to happen no matter what industry you're in whether you're a real estate agent whether you're an affiliate marketer whether you're a sales closer for a company insurance company right sales is not always consistent it's always gonna have the big months the lower months but what you want to do is look at the whole entire year, right? Look at your past six months and see what is the result, right? And this is where you can kind of average it from there because what you can see here is sure, some people might have got discouraged that, you know, things kept popping up in life and you saw sales declining because you weren't as consistent. But look what happened. The new year started and she's crushing it for the first month of the year because she had her new goals set, she had her new posting schedule set these new traffic sources are starting to take off more. And if I actually go to her account, we can actually see the past couple days, right? You can see today, she's at $1,700 in a single day. Yesterday, she made $1,400. You can see, you know, this is when she wasn't as consistent or her videos just weren't doing as well. She kind of came up with a new strategy. She started changing things around a little bit. And as you can see, let me just refresh the screen, right? Boom, it just jumped up another $100 um, during these last five seconds. So she might have her first $2,000 a day in profit. So again, this is what sales is like. It's always up and down, but as long as you stay consistent, you're gonna have those big months. You're gonna have you know those drop-offs, but as long as you stay consistent, you're gonna continue to grow month after month after month. So anyways, guys, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video on this six-month ClickBank affiliate marketing update. And if you wanna see exactly how I teach affiliate marketing, this is exactly what Taylor followed to get the results that you saw in this video. Be sure to download a free copy of my affiliate marketing guide. This will show you the exact steps you need to start affiliate marketing from complete scratch. Even if you have zero budget, you're brand new, right? Whatever the case may be. I truly believe this is something anyone can do and me and Taylor and all my other students that have had success is walking proof of that. So anyways, if you want to download this guide for completely free, it's going to show you my exact framework, everything you need to know to get started with affiliate marketing. Like I said, that will be the first link in the description below or just go over to this link right here. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and as always, I will see you in my next video.